Hello, my name is Miss Harmony and welcome to my channel. That is basically about case reviews and case discussions and at times analysis. And I am also on Twitter, so you can follow me there as I daily post there than my community wall. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and all and like. Thank you, Miss Harmony. When missing Quentin Simon came across my news feed that he was reported to be last seen at his house on October the 5th, he touched my heart. For me to then look into this little boy and to learn about what perhaps happened, not very much information was available for the first few days. But little Quentin had touched many hearts, and it had already began to go viral, his story. For people to now go to his home and set up a small memorial in hoping that we would get good news that he would be found. That was very short-lived, and the Simons' world was going to be rocked upside down once protesters learned about how the potential of Simon went missing. As police then named Leanna, his mother, the primary suspect, potentially taking him to a landfill and dumping his body. This outraged the community to begin to protest. And if that didn't bother you, imagine that being 24-7 for three weeks nonstop. Billy Joel tried her hardest to ignore it. And at a point where they could no longer live in peace in their home. She started by putting no trespassing signs, removing the signs that they were saying honking, and to a point of even removing the memorial to the backyard because they were defacing it and just doing horrible things to poor baby Quentin's memorial, and he's just an innocent victim in this. And then she took it a step up by placing manure around the protesters' area and fish it. Even after... Oh, Dolly's assaulting her! from coming back and tormenting them. Earlier this week, the Chatham County Police Department placed out a statement from the police chief, Jeff Hadley. Over the past three weeks, while our officers have been focused on finding Quinton Simon, a growing number of people calling themselves protesters have gathered outside of Quinton's home on Buckhalter Road. While the Chatham County Police Department supports everyone's right to protest peacefully, we also support the rights of citizens to live in a peaceful environment. The people on Buckhalter Road 
calling themselves protesters, have made that nearly impossible. Since October 12, 2022, YouTube protesters arrived. We have responded to over 50 calls for services in the 500 block of Buckhalter Road, and we have made multiple arrests. This has taken precious resources away from our department at a time when we are focused on the most massive investigation in history of CCPD. Many of the people claiming to want justice for Quinton have turned his tragic and heartbreaking case into a money-making circus. They have made it impossible for those who live in the area to enjoy peace and tranquility of their homes. This has taken precious resources away from our department at a time when we are focused the most massive investigation in history of the CCPD. Many of the people claiming to want justice for Quinton have turned this tragic heartbreaking case into a money-making circus. They have made it impossible for those who live in the area to enjoy the peace and tranquility of their homes. This is unacceptable and has to stop. It was said sometime very late last night that people had seen a man or a woman passing by the Simon's house in a black mask. All he did was walk by, saying nothing. But this really creeped a lot out. During a live today, Billy Joel Hell then reported what had happened when she had woke up this morning on Queen Bee's live. This is what she had to say. Hey, love, how are you? Hey, how are you today? Oh, I'm all right. Um, I know you're not doing okay, though. I know you're. I, you just tried to break my heart, baby. Yeah, there's a, okay, y'all. You see that? There y'all go. She, see? Let me put that up in the solo layout here so they can see that shit. There you go. See? There you go. That's how nasty they're being. And we don't know what's in those eggs. We don't know what's on them. What's in them could be anything, could be poison, could be anything. But this is how nasty they're getting. disgusting so pull that back out of the trash to show y'all that is awful that is awful i'm so sorry i just hope my dog i got one dog that got some of it this morning so i hope she'll be okay oh god yeah i was gonna say hopefully she'll be all right just yeah keep a nice eye on her and stuff but yeah that's the shit you guys are you're dealing with and it just it irritates me so bad because you know, like I said, the person that they are angry with who, and, and another thing too, I want to make this very clear. They said Leilani was the prime suspect, but everyone is still a suspect, correct? Yes. Everyone. And it said that in the news, everyone. And that's why I say I side eye the babysitter, Danny, you know, all these other, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't think it should just be right on you guys. And I, I get so angry for you and the neighbors that you guys have to put up with this every day. And it's re they're relentless with it. Yes, I'm. It's peaceful today, though, so I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Good, good deal. But, Did you at least get some rest last night? Not really. I've been sleeping about three or four hours a day. Poor thing. I know you got black circles under your eyes there. Make sure you guys said they're telling you. Make sure you wash your hands. Oh yeah, I need to go do that now. You deserve peace. That's right. You deserve peace. And uh, he said David Arrington, um, the one was the one sitting out last night with his lights on. He was shining his lights and he was live streaming for a while. 
he's the one that works uh, for the tow truck place, I guess, or something like that. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I don't want to put, I don't want to dox him or put his information out or whatever, but I was just reading it from the chat. Um, but I'll try to send you the information on it, you know, so you at least have it uh, just for the police and just in case you need it, you know. Yeah. I think it, I'm not 100% sure. And, and I won't say ever. I'm, like, I'm not sure that somebody poisoned the eggs. I don't know. But um, I know people's intentions are good right now. And um, I have to question That's right. everybody. So, this, and I'm hoping this is not my new normal because I don't want to be normal. It's not going to be your new normal. No. Hell no. We ain't going to have this. The city finally did something. The police finally made a statement. And I just hope that they stick with that. Um, they they uh, pulled their ordinances. And um, uh, hopefully, you know, if they start it today, the police will come shut it down like they said. Uh, you guys deserve peace and your neighbors deserve peace until there's an arrest made. Uh, I believe in innocent until proven guilty. Um, like I said, even it, there hasn't even been an arrest made. So you guys do not deserve to be treated like this when uh, no, there's no arrest made at all. Everyone is still a suspect. Everyone. Yeah. And yeah. It's everyone. wrong that they are doing this. This is fucking wrong. And I'm glad uh, Chief Hadley had something to say because I feel like because of what he said and making her the primary or only whatever it was he said suspect. And whenever I was actually told that there was only one person cleared and that was Quentin's daddy. Yes. And would you, um, would you um, explain the situation? Cause people are really confused about his grandfather and father. And um, so it was Quentin's grandfather, Bubba's father, correct? Yeah, not his okay. dad. yeah, it was his, his, it was, it would be his granddad. Right. Quentin's granddad. Yeah. And okay. then, his grandmother, um, I guess she passed a couple of weeks ago. So he's lost his mom and his dad. And um, so his, yeah, so Quentin and went missing, or, you know, his or whatever, and whatever's going on with that. So he's in his mother, his, uh, his father now. And you said his grandmother? No, just his, his mother and his, um, and his dad, his mom and dad. Oh, wow. And you know, that's a hard loss. That's, that's, that's a hard loss. Um, so yeah, you guys, I mean, he's really, they're all going through it right now. They're yeah. all going through it right now. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. So thank you. I appreciate you coming up and letting them know and, you know, showing the, because I couldn't get the picture. I couldn't, it couldn't, I didn't see it coming in. And I'm like, what the hell? So I appreciate you. Cause I mean, that's, shows what they're doing hopefully hopefully we'll have it under control today and um you guys will be able to get some peace you know yeah that's what you. we're hoping for you know everyone thank you for coming up baby as you heard queen b had made mention that the chief has made may now made new ordinance laws for chatham county she read them aloud on her live stream, and I couldn't find them, so I'm just going to let her read them so you can understand what the new laws are now for the Simons and in Chatham County. Chatham County Police Department supports everyone's constitutional right to peacefully protest, but we also support residents' rights to live in a peaceful environment. Due to the ongoing protests and disruptive gatherings on Buckhalter Road, the Chatham County Police Department will be enforcing two long-standing county ordinances. The first is Chapter 18, Article 5, like Assembly Ordinance, which requires a permit from the county manager upon recommendation by the Chief of Police. In this ordinance, a public assembly means any meeting, demonstration, picket line, rally, or gathering for common purpose that interferes with the normal flow of regulation of pedestrian or vehicular traffic or occupies any public area or facilities open to the general public. The second is the County Ordinance 11-3 loitering. This will be enforced from 7 p.m. until 7 a.m. Signage will be posted on Buckhalter Road. That outlines this information. You can also read the ordinances in their entirety. 
says some may be wondering why we have waited to enforce these ordinances when disrupted protests surrounding the disappearance of little Quentin Simon has been. Therefore, we initially took a liberal position on enforcement of ordinances related to the protest, but recent events, including an arrest for battery after a dispute between two groups of people identifying themselves as protesters, make it clear that now is the right time to take a stricter behavior of many YouTubers and people calling themselves protesters has gone beyond anything acceptable in a civil society, said the Chatham County Police Chief Jeff Hadley. We have to return the neighborhood back to the residents. It is their neighborhood. During that live, that the protesters actually had the nerve to walk by their house, and here is that clip. So, why Paul come over here to try to help her? Um, it's been wild. And, and because uh -oh. of their oh, that's sound, Olivia. That's Dolly. Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, y'all. You can take your ass right on back home. <laughs> if you ain't got a permit to be there, you don't need to be there. It's peaceful here. Look how lovely and quiet. They have their street back. Peace. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I'm so happy to see you out walking, MGL. That's nice. I love to see it. <laughs> God bless ya. Right now, and the police department's watching, so let them keep it up. Good. Can you see them? Yeah, they're out there taunting you right now. That's what they're doing. I have seen no value in anything that these protesters have done night and day. How is banging on doors or windows, chanting profanities that I can't even listen to in front of children? There was one woman who was in hospice who ended up having to relocate. She can't even have her final days in her home and other neighbors who have said, I'm scared to be in my home now. And they would want them to go. So when you're hearing them say, oh yes, they're cheering them on, that's not true. Potentially people coming around now throwing eggs that could be tainted or poisoned to their dogs. Under the constitution, you have the right to assemble and freedom of speech. But from what I'm seeing, at what cost does that come? Like I said, in the community and now also the protesters who have been arrested i think five maybe six now regardless of what their charges were they did something wrong for the police to apprehend them and charge them now some protesters will say whatever it takes if i have to go down i will and as you can see right after the ordinance was brought out today they walked by to taunt them. And remember, those protesters have to take 10 days for approval by the chief. And I don't really think that they will get it. So let's hope that now this community will have the peace that it deserves. I think law enforcement 
should be the ones to deal with this. The cost alone in taxpayers' dollars to have police now at the roadway and coming out all the time. All this is really doing is bogging down the community and bogging down the police force. In my opinion, it's an obstruction of justice. This is not the citizen's position, but the lead investigators, the FBI, and law enforcement to do. Who are the ones to talk to potential suspects and witnesses? This could actually defend that person who may be charged. Whatever their motive and intent to protest, I just have to say, this is not justice. Try working in the system, and then maybe perhaps you will understand when you are in the system, and I do work in the system, to understand right from wrong, how to go about things the proper way. We want justice. And we want to, to find Quentin. Thank you for watching.